today we're going to uh, create a design that is inspired by the um, ceramics that we find in Iznik, Turkey during the Ottoman Empire. And so here's um, a line drawing version of a design. But you're going to get a piece of paper and the first thing you do is always the same. You take out your pencil and write your name. Then I'm going to take this big 8 inch template and it's 8 inches in diameter which means it's 8 inches from here to here. The radius would be 4 inches but I'm just going to trace around it and you can see sometimes you just kind of go like that and there's a couple ways you can go about this. This design here goes right up to the edge pretty much but this one has a couple rings and so there's a separate design here so I think I want to do that so I also have some templates I was play with that's seven and a half inches and I think that one's gonna be too close so then I'm gonna move down to a six inch one and just kinda try to center it it's not gonna be perfect and then I'm going to go around like this. So I and I'm doing a whisper line because, um, and I want it to be fairly light because I'm going to be drawing some flowers and things. And then you're just going to decide if you're going to do something with radial symmetry or bilateral symmetry. So remember, radial symmetry is something that repeats around the radius. So sometimes four or eight times, sometimes 16. Something that's bilateral is can be divided in half. Now this is technically not bilateral because we got this guy here. But most everything else is fairly symmetrical. So what I'm gonna do is take my ruler and I'm gonna put it here and at least divide it into quarters. So that would be four pieces. Now it's in half and now it's in quarters. I think what I want to do is I want to have a bilateral symmetry design in here, but I want to have things repeat around the radius this way. So then I'm going to just try to very lightly do this, and I guess I don't have to go all the way across. I can just go like this. And so what I did was I just tried to look at where it looked like it was halfway between these two distances. I'm going to make a mark and make a mark, 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 make a mark. I'm going to take that from the radius and line this up with the center point and the other one here. And you want to do this real lightly because eventually you might have to uh, you might make a mistake and you want to erase it and I've got one more I'm gonna do here so I know that I'm gonna have something on each one of these lines so I'll have to erase those lines eventually and I'm gonna have something along this line here that's going to mirror on either side. 